Greetings everybody, welcome back into TechPress. Today let's focus into a delving quick yet impactful customization how to change the car icon into your Shopify store in 2024. So far what we did is to change this actual fund um, card into something black and easy but today we wanted to change an actual new font. So to get started, there's two things you needed to focus on. First of all, let's access Shopify administrator tool. I'm gonna leave you guys a link down below in the description so we can all get started totally for free with your actual store. Now that you have your store redeemed, redeemed what you wanted to do is to focus into the process where we can add the unique charge to the store. So the two ways that we can do this are the very first and easy ways to first of all navigate to the theme editor. So what I want to do is to locate my actual uh, store. In this case, is actually this one. Now, just in case you're not sure how you're going to make changes, what I can try to suggest you is to go for the three dots and duplicate your actual theme. So if you wanted to make any kind of changes, if you think that you are not ready for going with the vision, with the coding and all of that, you don't have to worry because all of that we're going to be using with an actual just new copy, a new version. So just in case you wanted to undo what you've done, you have the, the, the actual custom version. So meanwhile, we have this current theme live. What we wanted to do is to edit this copy. So to go for the three dots, and let's go for edit the code. Now, first of all, I'm going to show you how do we have an actual here, a logo. So as you can see here, it is, it actually looks uh, really easy. Today, what I wanted to do is to do something totally new. So I'm going to hit now back here. And now let's start by locating the card icon settings. So in this step, let's guide through the actual locating of the setting for your card icon. So first of all, what you want to do is to focus on where you can find the addition of this card. Usually you can find this into these folders. I'm going to just unscroll all of them and just focus into the one that says snippets. Directly here into snippet, you should see that we have lots of them. So what you wanted to do is to only focus with an actual card and the icon. In this case, you wanted to edit the icon of the card, both empty and only icon card. So just uh, focused into finding the both of them. Now that we find both of them, what we wanted to do is to get started and going into an actual new tab so we can find a new place where we can start by customizing a lookout or some coding. So here, as you can see here, I'm into freepeak.com and I find there's a lot of stuff here but what you are actually aiming for is to having an actual image an actual card that has a c a sbg file so uh, this file it actually is going to be helping the application to find out where you actually found it and well you don't have to do anything else later on for example here into the font awesome.com i do have the html file and the cbg file so what i just needed to do is to copy this file and to paste it in here now if you are editing your own uh, logo as i just did here what you wanted to do is to download out this as a c as an sbg file and then what you wanted to do after you download out of this what you wanted to do is to open it into the edits uh, of the svgcode.com here what's going to happen is that what you can do is to import your actual file your actual icon and it's going to be giving you this actual code so this code is the actual code that you needed to use in here so what i wanted to do is to delete absolutely everything everything here into the section now i paste my icon and i hit into save and I do exactly the same thing with the icon card that liquid. Select absolutely all of the actual coding and paste the code that we actually chose. After that, I'm gonna hit into preview store just to make sure that I actually do something great. So I'm gonna hit into the X mark and check out, we actually did it really well. And so far, it looks really, really awesome. And there guys, you have it. You preview the changes, you make sure uh, it actually works, you make sure that you click into the icon and it sends you directly into the card section. And well guys, we are done here. It's time to make this live. We'll guide you through the process guys uh, of saving and publishing your changes because what you need to do is to go back, uh, hit into the exit, 
and select the copy of your store and hit now into published and well guys there you go we are actually good to go so guys just in case you have a question you can leave it down below in the comment section if you find this tutorial helpful please give us a thumbs up subscribe for more shopify insights hit that notification bell to stay into the loop guys once again you have the links down below in the description so you can all get started totally for free here with the shopify thank you so much for watching the video guys and well thank you for joining us today happy customizing the shopify storefront